Hello, hello everyone. Hello. We're just going live. I'm just waiting for some people to come on. And uh, I've been meaning to do this energy report and intuitive reading for some time now, but it just hasn't felt right because more has unfolded as time's gone on. So even though we're halfway through January already, can you believe it? I know. Welcome, welcome, whoever you are who's here. I actually can't see. I don't know why I can't see. Ah, Luke. <laughs> Hello, Luke. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We're just waiting for more people to come on board. So this is going to be a 2020 energy report and uh, intuitive tarot reading. So we're just waiting, waiting for more people to come on. Funny time of the day, really, because I know a lot of people are probably sitting down to their evening meal now, um, or depending on where you are, of course. Um, hi, Luke. Hi, Luke. It's great. Great that you've come on board. That's awesome. Uh, so we're just waiting for more people to come on. I am also going to share this if I can download it. I'm not sure uh, I can with being on my laptop. Um, but anyway, I hope hopefully I can. Hi, Rena. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> So far we have, oh, I think there might be 11 of us. Uh, hopefully so. Hi, Stephen. Hi, everyone. We're just waiting for some more people to join us. And I'm doing a live 2020 energy report and tarot reading. But the, or the tarot reading is intuitive reading, but I'm using my cards. So some are tarot cards and some are other types of cards. Hello. Hello, Samia. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, I'm only doing the report and the um, intuitive reading up until June because this year uh, there's going to be quite a lot happening. Uh, I'll just say that if you can hear dogs barking or running around going around near me our two dogs are having a little mad five minutes as you can see running past there <laughs> in the background <laughs> they're both going a little bit nuts but that's okay they've had their dinner now they're running it off so please hi rose uh please you know at the end of this if you feel the uh feel like sharing it so that your friends can see this, please do, because uh, this is for everyone. Um, so I'm just going to start now. So I'm going to share it afterwards anyway. So energy report first. Well, it's taken me, as I said, it's taken me actually two weeks to get this together because every time I've gone to do it, something has stopped me, something has cropped up. Um, so, and then more information has actually come to me. So, uh, what I'm picking up mainly about this year and certainly the first half of this year is transformation. So last year was quite a hard year for many people. And the year before also was quite a hard year for many people. This year is going to be another year of transformation in a bigger way if you like in a i know last year a lot of people cleared out a lot of old stuff from them and there was a lot of shifts and things going on for people in their physical lives as well as within their emotional selves um this year is going to be similar 
I, I really feel that this year is going to be similar. Hi, Kalini. Hello, Teresa. Um, so, yes, transformation. Big transformation, actually, not just for us on a personal level, but also for uh, the planet and also for humanity as a whole. We're going to see some things happen, some events unfold um, across the board, I want to say. So it's not partic in one particular area. I believe there's going to be uh, new in inventions coming out this year. So this is on the positive side. There's going to be um, people being held accountable for things that they've done wrong in the past. So. I mean this more on a, a worldly scale. Uh, scale. Um, so we might see some big shifts going on in governments and um, truth coming out in, in um, the matter of things. There are also going to be, I really feel there's going to be some big shifts on the planet. Now, as we can see unfolding so far, there's been uh, quite a few earthquakes and there seems to be a lot of volcanoes going off at the moment. This is all about our beautiful earth that we live on clearing she's clearing herself um, but it also is going to create shifts for us who live on her of course I believe there's going to be more volcanoes and uh, more shifts as in earthquakes and things like that going on um, I don't know how big I just Feel that the transformation I was talking about when it comes to the earth is going to affect some people. I mean, we've seen the huge fires in Australia. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of earthy things going on that's going to affect humanity and the animal kingdoms and the wildlife and everything else. There's going to be more events like that, but it's all about transformation. Now, if we look at fire, in a spiritual way fire is about deep cleansing uh, and and getting rid of the old so the new can come in um, if you look if you look at volcanoes also are all about fire and heat and and cleansing as well but that's about the earth cleansing and like i said there's going to be worldwide events that are going to create transformation for masses and this is to do with governments and things happening that change things the truth coming out in the matter and uh things like that so it's a big year of transformation it's also a big year of love so often for everyone to feel this great feeling of love it's about people coming together so groups, people coming together. So the transformation is going to happen in events unfolding around the world, which is going to create people to come together and going to create uh, lots of big groups of people helping each other and and that feeling of belonging and um, uh, in, uh, what's the right word? Um, importance in helping and transmuting and transforming so there's going to be a lot of energy around about that so that's on a bigger scale for and of course if we look at it on a smaller scale it's also going to happen for us individually on a smaller scale too so there will be lots of uh family events going on both good and what we would class as both not so good but of course the not so good ones are all about growth and about transformation and change uh so yeah within the family dynamics there's going to be things unfolding family is important and i want to reiterate that feeling of grouping together and and doing group things and helping other people not just your own tight-knit family or helping yourself it's actually about helping other people and sharing because this group energy is what's important on all levels so on a spiritual level on a family level on a uh, community level 
and on a worldwide level it's it's really important that we group together help each other go and help some strangers out there if you see someone that's needing help out there go and help them it's all about opening things up it's not just all about us i want to say then after having said that it's important also to look after yourself it's really important to do that so it's about getting a balance it's about getting a balance right so i'm going to start off i've pulled some cards for january i'm going to start off with january and we're all already halfway through january of course now is this year going to go as fast as last year who found last year just flew past who out there found that last year as much as there were events going on and there's things in families and things outside on a worldly scale going on last year flew past it's almost like it went within the blink of an eye and if you think back to last year you can probably only remember significant big things that happened so it might have been you went on holiday somewhere or something in the family happened or something worldwide happened that sticks out in your mind i have a feeling this year is going to be on a similar thing um so let's have a look at january i've got my crystals out as well by the way so we've had the reiki and this was done randomly so i don't think about how how i've placed the crystals so we have the reiki symbols on january and the cards that have come out for january are okay the first one that came out was actually improvements are underway for everybody in january but for these improvements thank you laura thank you very much and thank you rose um and thank you everyone for coming on board i absolutely love having you here and i love doing these things i just wish that i i could do them more often so yeah january there are improvements on the way uh this is about january energy is about first of all going within so it's about the beginning of the transformation some of you so far may have found january difficult because there has been such energy there's been up one minute down the next up one minute down the next and it's been an internal thing i don't know whether you all felt it but i have personally it's been like a real um amount of shifts going up and down within like i said one minute you feel good like everything's on track and we're all, all heading in this onto this beautiful future and then the next minute it might you might feel stuck we've had some ama major um planetary alignments as well some unusual ones uh january so far we've had just had last weekend a very powerful full moon a wolf moon and these energies of the planetary alignments and what's going on in space and the cosmos are going to get more intense i feel because there's big changes underfoot so this january it's important to go within so if you come to a phase in life where you feel stuck you feel like things aren't going right you feel out of sorts and you don't even know why go within ask yourself why am i feeling like this why am i feeling this way meditate start doing some uh energy transformational exercises that's going to help lift your vibration it's important to do this definitely meditation soul searching so we're all looking within and going what's this year going to bring what's this year all about it's an amazing year 2020 which creates a four number four is all about being in the box or being outside of the box um so it's about conformity and being safe and um 
doing things that are safe but it's also about stepping out of that box so there's a real up and down energy with the number four so definitely soul searching go within look within and what else is there is going to be this month things being finalized like signing of money of um contracts and agreements and things like that so it could be a new job it could be you've moved house or you've moved flat you're signing rental agreements or you've moved house and you are signing money agreements but this is about uh signing of papers to do with changes um and also work maybe new contracts to do with work new things coming it's it's good because actually this soul searching and then this make taking action steps and making changes in your life is extremely good but abundance has come out with it so all is destined to turn out beautifully and you have a magnificent and abundant future ahead of you all your dreams will come true so stop worrying it's important to stay balanced within yourself. Harmony has also come out with it. Again, that's all about balance within yourself. Embrace relationship and career opportunities. The choices you must make will create harmony in your heart and your future. So being guided to follow your heart. Remember as well, no matter how sometimes when you go through these shifts and you're feeling a bit down, remember abundance is there remember harmony is there it's just that your whole energetic system is recalibrating that's what that feeling of stuckness and those shifts are all about it doesn't mean that you've actually slipped down to, into a big big depression or anything like that it just means your whole energy system is feeling the energies that are coming in and your whole system is recalibrating please remember this because this will help remember to go within soul searching meditation knowing and trusting that abundance is actually where we're heading and yes there will be some ups and downs so february and this crystal here is clear quartz and it's actually from the Casa uh, John of God um, Healing Center. So healing, 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 February. February is also about family. There's going to be lots of family things going on in February. Of course, February is um, Valentine's Day, which of course is all about love. But this is about family support as well. So it's not just about um, partner relationships. It's about family support. It's about helping your children. It's about if you have if you have to helping your parents. But get, again, that sort of coming back into that family. Balance is within it. So again, it's almost a little bit like January. It's you're being reminded to stay balanced. There is a possibility that you will seek the um, advice of a, a, a solicitor, doctor, um, a male in the family who you trust or someone that you trust who is an older male. So it's about seeking advice. So don't, if you're feeling stuck, don't keep it all to yourself. Ask other people for help. Don't be frightened to do that. It's, it's important to do that. Um, and again, emotional help to, with other family members. If someone's needing help in the family, help them. If you need help in the family, go and, uh, ask for help um, balance is here balance ask yourself are you doing too much are you feeling out of balance 
have you taken on too much if you're like me you have a tendency to take on too much i always take on too much um and met many many different things and i think that people with a creative mind often do that so you're being guided to take time to rest rejuvenate and find balance in all areas of your life a change now will build a strong foundation for your future. So get yourself back into balance. This is about your emotions. Again, when we talk about emotions, often it is to do with family stuff. So it, you're being guided to actually keep that balance. Yes has come out with it. Very positive move indeed. The path is, path is safe. And there are no obstacles in your way have faith have faith and go for it so remember that things are also moving forward hank what are you doing sorry hank is now decided to play with his food bowl just sit down boy sit sit good boy leave it leave it good boy so yes Healing, family dynamics, balance. But remember, things are still moving forward and it's the right thing to do. Things are still going to work out for you. Everything always does. As I say to people that come to me because they're feeling struck, stuck or they're feeling down or depressed or, or something, obviously I help them in whatever way I can, but I always say to them, everything is going to work out and there's no point in worrying about things beforehand just tr it's about trust and releasing letting go and trusting in the universe so we're now into march and i have this beautiful powerful tesla energy device which is made out of titanium uh, this is a an energy plate which you hold makes me buzz every time I actually hold it I've got a massive big one which is in the house under our bed which reaches out the energy of it reaches out two uh, K's all the way around so it's it's really good energy energy device so energy If you can hear that beautiful whistling behind, that is our beautiful Rosella that we've got. Baby, if you remember seeing my videos from the end of last year, he's not a baby anymore. He is uh, semi-grown. He's not full grown, but I would say he's probably a teenager. He's in his teenage years. So anyway, back to March. There's a lot of things about male energy this year, actually. So we're going to see male energy transformation and also feel within ourselves as uh, for the us women, we're going to feel our male energy become more balanced with our female energy. So we're going to, if you like, as women, we're going to feel our inner strength more. We're going to um, feel our own power more. And also for the men, uh, you're going to go through transformations of perhaps feeling more emotional. Nothing wrong with that at all. Feeling confused why you feel emotional. Feeling different emotions coming up. So that can be bouts of anger, bouts of frustration, bouts of emotion. Um, it's all part of that self recalibration of your whole system right the way down to your soul everything from the past and past lives is being cleared out so we're going to still get more of old memories popping up i've been getting that i had that on and off all last year even old conversations that i've had with people that i'd forgotten about all of a sudden coming back into my conscious mind and thinking uh, then i say to myself okay why has that come back up why am i thinking about that now and it's because there's some healing around it or some forgiveness or some gratitude or something around it it that needs to be released 
So when you get those old memories, those old conversations coming up, things that you may have forgotten that are popping up, it's an opportunity to allow the energy around it to release from your system. So it's almost like you do your forgiveness, you forgive the person, you forgive yourself, you feel gratitude that it's popped up and thank it, and then you see the energy of it releasing from your system. It's a great way to help clear your energy body, your emotional body, your soul body. So, yes, the energy around March are definitely the masculine and the feminine for males and females. Also, things really open up. And it's almost like March is going to be, I kind of feel like, I don't actually know what the planets are going to be doing as the build up to March is at the moment, but I kind of feel like there is a bit of a build up to March. And then when March appears, there's going to be some transformational events happen around the world, but there's also going to be some transformation happen within your own energy field because it's going to feel like a completion phase. Like the, It's almost like I feel like a relief of thank goodness those couple of months are over and now we're into March and it feels like fresh energy coming. <clears throat> uh, also clear the air. So this is again about new energy coming. So we're going to release the old to make way for the new but we're being advised to clear the air as well. So an out outstanding situation in your life needs to be dealt with now in order for you to move forward in life confront this issue with love so that completion phase sometimes when those completion type energies come in it means that you might feel a bit stuck at that time you might feel that there is an inner shift going on you don't understand what's happening to yourself you might feel anxiety or, or a, a be feeling low or something like that but remember it's only a shift you're clearing out old energy remembering the energy and the transformation so now we are going to go to april so january february march april and Funnily enough, I put my new K2 crystal on this. And if you saw my post the other day about this crystal, it's K2, it's called. It's a mixture of granite and actually I forget the other crystal that's in it. But anyway, it is all about higher consciousness, transformation, connecting deep, more deeply to your own higher self, to the higher energies in the cosmos. And funnily enough, intuition has come out with this, along with other cards, of course. Right. So let's see. This is April. So actually, an extra card fell out in April. So there's still a little bit of energy of holding on to the past. We need to let go. So that could be this... this because this is a general reading for everybody, I'm not tuning in on anyone directly. I'm doing a general thing. So you may pick up on some of these things that I mention. This is all that I mention is not going to happen to everybody. Hi, Debbie. I hope you're doing well. Um, so first of all, there's a feeling of, again, there's still that old energy, wanting to cling on to what you know. And sometimes that's not a good thing to do. Again, that's about release, about surrender. You don't need to hold on to what you know because there's new energy coming in constantly now and it's higher, powerful energy that's coming in. And the more we try and hold on, it's like a, a tug of rope, if anyone ever has seen in the, in the UK, people do tug of war um, things. Actually, I used to be in a women's tug of war team. But that tug of war, pull, push, or being pulled backwards and being pulled forward, it's a bit like that type of energy. 
so you're being guided to don't hold on to the past don't hold on to those old energies it's time to release that now don't allow those energy cords to still stay attached to that old stagnant energy and that stagnant uh, old parts of self but also again i'm going to go out on a worldly thing now still people are trying to bring back what happened in the past or old energy things and actually it's time for new it's time to embrace the newness of the new energy that's coming in the new you we're all evolving don't hold on to that old stuff it's time to move forward to that new energy so the other cards that came out Again, there's another, it's, a, it's a, a lot of masculine energy transformation. Again, I'm going to say for us women, that's the masculine sides of us, the more powerful sides of us, the more strong strength sides of us standing up now. And for the men, it's about the more intuitive sides opening up. And no matter how you might want to fight it, actually it's going to happen so please just let go of the past let go of the old you and allow that new you that new transformation to come in if you do there are going to be so many more opportunities coming in for you these are wonderful opportunities coming in from all areas coming in uh, lots and lots of different things as long as you let go surrender and let go of that old energy those old ways of being and allow that new energy in intuition has come out with it so we've got again i want to say that a lot of this year is about balance so we've got intuition and we've got universe so intuition your intuition is opening up more than what it ever has before you are multidimensional beings, you are powerful beings, and things are going to come about in your life to help you to see that. So the more you surrender that old stuff and allow the new to come in, the easier it's going to be. Thanks, Sharon. Had the hair done today. Very, very happy with it. Went to Vivo in Bethlehem and uh, had... Um, Nikki do my hair very very pleased love it uh, so I decided to have it a bit curly uh, just for something new and something different um, so the universe has come out with it again I'm gonna go with balance intuition is that new higher consciousness self that's coming through now your new soul self and uh, the universe represents any cares or worries that you've got do not allow them to linger in your mind do not allow the mind to take over stay in the heart and give all your cares and worries over to the universe it's all going to work out it always does everything is going to be taken care of as long as you surrender and don't fight it is michelle Honestly, we are all evolving at such a rapid rate now. We really are being advised to let go of the old us and move forward and, and allow that new energy in, connecting to our soul selves, our higher selves, allow that new transformation to come in. This is on a personal level, this is on a family level, and this is on a worldwide level. It's, it's across the board so we are now going remembering that that k2 crystal is all about higher consciousness your intuition allowing that in and expanding your energy and expanding who you are allowing your inner being to shine out as brightly and as powerfully as you possibly can so we're going on to that was april this is may so the cards that came out for may this is Funnily enough, this is uh, a, an Egyptian 
how do you say it? Is it obelisk? obelisk? Um, I can't say it. Um, but you know what I mean. You know what shape it is. So actually, when you actually look at what I've got here, we've got sacred geometry going on with the crystals. This was done totally unintentionally. Sacred geometry with all the crystals here that are in front. We've got a pyramid. We've got an unusual shape. We have that shape. We have the orb. And we have the obelisk. And this is smoky quartz. So when, when I think of smoky quartz, I think of very high, powerful energy. But I also think of grounding, connecting to the earth. Very important to connect to the earth. Ground yourself. Connect with nature. Look at the card. Go out and feel the beautiful energy of nature. Connect with any rainbows that you see. Connect with the sun. Connect with the trees. Connect with the beautiful earth, the grass. Go and lie in it. Go on the beach. Nature, nature, nature. Grounding. And nature helps you clear your energy field. It's really, really, really good, really, really, really important for us all to stay grounded. We are here of the earth in this physical form, so it's important for us to stay grounded to the earth. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, yeah, I love, I love this. I actually, this is secondhand. I actually bought this off someone who was selling this. I saw this online. Beautiful. Love it. You, I don't know whether you can see, actually, but it has lots of shapes and it has a rainbow in it which is actually a bit hard to see at the moment but it has lots of shapes and energy in it so this is a time to connect with nature like we've said but it's actually now a time as you've allowed that old energy to go you might even find that people that you've been friends with for years or family members that you really had a strong connection with, you perhaps are not so connected with them. You, you, you friends, some of your friends, you might feel you have nothing in common anymore. This is what's happening. And it's because your soul family's coming in. Our whole inner beings and our souls and our energy bodies and our emotional bodies are in a state of transformation so the old is being released the new is coming out the new is evolving emerging and this is also creating us to have changes going on in our physical world um, in uh, in our beings in our relationships um, so you might find that people that you really really got on well with a few years ago all of a sudden you probably you might find that you you don't have much in common anymore and it's because you are changing you are evolving and so are they but in a different way and there's nothing wrong with that but your soul family is coming in another masculine energy has come out here now it's important to be creative it's important to feel into your more sensitive side. Again, we're going on with the intuition and your senses. Allow your senses to evolve, connect in with yourself, connect in with the, um, <clears throat> the natural world, the senses that you feel in nature, connect in this, what you feel from planet Earth, connect in with what you feel from yourself, from your soul, connect in what you feel from your whole, your higher self, connect in what you feel from others that you are uh, in the company of. You heard that, that's a kingfisher just calling. So it's important as well to look after yourself to the point where go and treat yourself to go on a retreat or Go, go and do some group stuff with other people. Go and spend some time with like-minded people. It's important that you do that. Again, nature and group work has come up. This card means, whoops, there we are. 
This card means connecting with other people. It means uh, going to places like retreat centers, uh, group work, yoga, uh, spiritual group work, or um, even going on uh, tramping and connecting with nature in that way, but with groups. So it's all about new energy with group situations. And a firm has come out with it. Remember this mantra. So say this mantra aloud. I am successful in all that I do. I am successful in all that I do. By affirming and visualizing, you plant the seed for positive outcomes. So this is all about soul family. This is good energy. This is all about group work, group gatherings, uh, gathering of your soul family, connecting with nature. Uh, and for us here, of course, in New Zealand, May will be, we'll, we'll just be, hopefully the weather will still be quite warm then, but we'll be heading into autumn. So connecting with soul family. So June, what do we have for June? So June is all about the ending of a situation. There might have been something that you were involved in that is now coming to an end there might be something that you've had on your mind or on your plate which is coming to an end there might be a situation uh, that you have uh, been worrying about or stressing about and that and now in june is going to come to an end um, also there might be that you've been worrying about finances and things like that, that also is going to come to an end because we've got the Six of Pentacles come up here and this is about the energy flow of money and abundance. Um, uh, more money coming in. So again, the two polarities here with the June energy, we have the universe come out. So any worries that you've got, again, you've been asked to surrender. So each month's energy is about change. You're being asked to surrender any stresses, any worries, let it go. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Because there is new energy coming in. There is new abundant energy around money. There is, uh, it's kind of like a balance with money as well. You're going to be giving money out, but you're also going to re be receiving there also is an energy around having more money to be able to go and join group work like we did in May, um, but also to explore new shores. You're, you're being guided to step into the new. So that can represent travel on a physical level. It can re represent travel. It can represent uh, going into new groups, meeting new people um, on a spiritual level. It's about going into the spiritual realms, the dimensions that are new to you, stepping out of your comfort zone, uh, going into realms and uh, areas that you've not been in before. Spirit has come out with it. Spirit has some important information for you. So take time to listen. The more you do, the stronger your connection and will become and the clearer your guidance so you're being guided to even release the old ways of thinking about your spirituality about your intuition uh, about your healing if you're a healer about your healing uh, modalities and it's time to allow new things to come in now how do we do that we follow our imaginations, our guidance within. But well, how do we feel? What are we feeling? Stay creative because that's going to open up the creative mind and open up the channels to spirit, open up channels to your guides, open up channels to the multiverse, your universal self, your multi-dimensional self. Uh, stay creative. So don't get stuck in it has to be this way. Really open things up 
and allow new energy to come in. This, this year literally is all about transformation. And again, I'm going to say there's going to be some physical stuff. There's also going to be a lot of energy stuff going on. Um, so connect more deeply to your spiritual self, your intuition. No matter how, because there might be some people that watch this that perhaps have come across it by accident and they're not perhaps very open spiritually, but actually no matter how hard you might fight your soul self, your inner self, your spiritual self, your multidimensional self, it's going to evolve, it's going to come out. So the easier you just let things go, surrender, and just allow yourself to open up, you are going to evolve, and you're going to feel more secure within yourself. If you can hear the dogs growling and things like that, they are two bulldogs, and that is how they play their playing with each other so they're not having to go each other just in case you can hear that they're playing that's how bulldogs and staffies and and uh, dogs like that play so actually when I was shuffling these cards these cards fell out so I felt that these were important to as an overall for the first six months of 2020 animals has come out connect with animals not only are we evolving but actually our beautiful beautiful animals are evolving too and there are moments in time when they also feel like they're struggling uh, with the energies that are coming to the planet so you might see your animals going up and down with different things so spend time with your animals it's good for you it's good for them because they truly love to connect with you if you're a healer, give your animals healing. Because animals actually, whether you know it or not, help us heal. That connection, that strong connection you have with animals will is so deep and so... Uh, I actually can't explain it, but when you've got a, such a strong connection with an animal, it's on a soul level. It's on a soul level. So, animals, very, very important. So that can be birds as well. So again, it's all connected with nature. Another thing that's very important, relationships. Very important to nurture your relationships, nurture new relationships. If old relationships aren't working for you anymore, it's time to let them go. So it's all about relationships and also relationships with yourself. Hi, Liana. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm going to read through all the comments afterwards and I will reply to every single one of you. So uh, please, if I haven't answered you, it's because I'm so into the reading and into listening to what the guidance that I'm being given um uh it's just that i'm i'm concentrating on that but i'm going to read through all the comments afterwards and i will reply to you all so yes relationships are important bold action is also important but only when you see the signs to take bold actions i just want to say right now i'm feeling uh uh energy coming in very very close to me i can actually feel like there's something coming in towards my crown now. Uh, I can I can feel energy on the top of my head. Uh, bold action. Funnily enough, I was saying bold action. That also applies to me. So when I'm doing a reading for everyone else here, it applies to me too. So that is, I would say, that when I was feeling that energy on top of my head then, and I was saying the words bold action, I also need to do that too. So bold action, don't be backward in coming forward at this time, remembering this is for the whole year. So there's going to be times throughout each month when you're going to need to take bold action. Progress will be made, 
through bold action and seeing things through to fruition. So I know personally what that is about for me. I have started writing two books. One of them is about soulmates and how soulmates meet. I Ages ago, I wrote out and put it out on Facebook for people to send me in uh, their stories of how they met their partner, but in an unusual way. So I've, I'm in the middle of writing this book and putting all the stories that I've been sent in. And thank you so much, everyone that sent them in. Putting them all in, and I'm also going to be writing about love. I'm calling it Extraordinary Love. Uh, I'm planning on writing other books as well, which I'm going to call the whole series of them Blooming Lovely, because that's what we all are. We are all blooming lovely. And because I'm from Dorset, lovely is a word that often is used to um greet people and of course as you know anyone who follows me and reads my stuff regularly i always uh saying lovely and and that to people um and it's if i say it in my dorset accent it is everything is blooming lovely <laughs> so that's my dorset accent there so bold action and i know that that is a really strong thing for me to feel feeling that energy on top of my head, I need to take bold action in getting these books done. The other book that I've definitely started is part of my own life story. And also another book, which is all about light coded technology, which is the form of healing that I do. So bold action, this is for all of us. Earth energies. This card symbolizes the need to put down some roots and stay put for a while, a time to settle down and create more stability in your life. Connect to the earth and put down roots into the earth, ground yourself into the earth and uh, keep connected to the earth. Um, I feel too that this is also significant about the earth changes that are gonna go on that we're going to see throughout 2020. Um, so, all everybody out there whether you're a healer or not a healer please send your beautiful healing energy to the earth send love to the earth because she's transforming as well as we are so we're going to see some events happen to do with earth energies now this represents volcanoes earthquakes um like the fires in australia earth things happen that nobody has any control of and new home so people i call it itchy feet so there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to feel bored with what, what's going on right now for them and feel that need to create new energy to move forward in life so it's almost like you're going to feel stuck like nothing's moving forward nothing's happening you want things to unfold you want to move, you want to travel, you want to expand your energy. New home is all about this new energy, new expansion, needing to travel, needing to expand your energy. Now, you can do that on many, many levels. You can move house, you can move countries, you can travel by expanding yourself and moving. You can, on a spiritual level, you can tap into something that you haven't tapped into before. So you can tap into higher dimensions, other dimensions, other guides. We've got many, 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 many guides that we haven't connected to yet. There are many, many interdimensional beings that are waiting there to help us and for us to connect with them. Now, a way for us to do that is because some of these beings are of a higher dimension and they find it hard to come down to our level sometimes. So we can actually connect with them by raising our own frequency. And by doing that, you feel love, feel that love within yourself, radiate that love out, feel joy, do things that, um, that make you feel joy, get creative. Go help people. All these things help us to feel good about ourselves, to help us feel joy. And 
help us in that way. So that energy of shift movement is also here in 2020. So that energy is on a personal level, again, within ourselves. It is on a family level, shifting movement, uh, moving house, moving jobs, uh, moving countries. And it's on a universal level. Even our planet is changing. So new home, new energy, and new beginnings. So I have stopped there in June. I'm not going to go through the whole year. Please keep listening back to this video. Save it in your save videos if you're on Facebook. I, if I can download this video, I'm also going to upload it onto YouTube. So if you're watching from YouTube, please uh, re-watch this every so often and just see what's happened because you're going to see some transformational events happen this year, outwardly and inwardly. So it's starting to get dark here because what is the time? I actually don't know what the time is because I've put my big screen on and I can't see the time. But anyway, it's probably about half past eight, maybe quarter to nine-ish. Uh, so it's getting dark. The sun is going down behind me, as you can see over there. I've got Hank here sat by my feet saying, come on, mum, it's time to go in. It's getting a bit cooler. Uh, and I want to say to you, I love you with my heart and soul. I love doing what I do. I do this at, with such a deep passion to help people. Um, and I also, like I said before, when I do these readings, I also have that little voice in my head saying, are you listening, Ginny? So some of it is for me too. So uh, please, please take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves. Look after your families. Do more group stuff help your neighbors, get involved in your community. It's all about that this year, transformational energy. And remember, it's going to come in many, many, many different ways. So if you would like to see more about what I would, I do, I do offer intuitive readings. I also, oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you. 8.30-ish, I said, so hit the nail on the head there. Uh, I offer intuitive readings. I offer multi-dimensional healing i offer chakra balancing and energy balancing and uh, my healings and balancing sessions and my activation my quantum activation sessions are transformational i always say to people when they have a, a healing session or an activation session with me their whole energetic system is going to be recalibrated and i, I don't mean this to to sound egotistical or anything like that, but that is what happens. Uh, it's, it's deep and it's powerful. And it goes right down to the soul level. These, the, a lot of it is clearings and then the healing and or depending if you have the quantum light activations, the activations also, which will propel you forward. So please go to my website and have a look at what I do. I also do light language. I, uh, I've been getting downloads of light language for many years now, and I know it's all information that's coming into my DNA and interacting with my own energy body and transforming my multidimensional self. I do light code tattoo designs because I love doing creative stuff, and I download these from... Uh, the quantum field or from our ET friends, from my guides. Um, so please go to my website. It is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Uh, and if you see this, please like and share this video with your friends and family. This is to help people. Remember that you are powerful beings and that we're in a state of transformation. Remember the abundance and the positivity and that actually everything is going to work out fine. It always does, no matter what's happening in life. 
it always works out in the end so much 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 love from me have a wonderful weekend this weekend a wonderful 2020 bye for now much love